Right, and welcome back to video number three on the PET 2025 for the great t uh, 11s. I um, hope you're all well and staying warm, guys. Um, yes, um, you need to do that. And thank you for joining up with the videos. Um, it really, I hope it's helping you understand where we are at um, and that we can get the best marks for your PET. That is what we want. We want 90s. So come on, girls um, and boys, we can do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking on page four at dishonesty. Okay, so guys, this is really important. Um, just so that you know that um, we cannot be dishonest in this pet. It's your work, and the department has clearly listed here things that we need to look at. Right, since the pet is an individual project, okay, guys, so there they're telling you, you've got to work on this alone, and preferably um in test conditions okay right you may get help from others but you need to acknowledge their help okay guys so you can ask people for help um, in obtaining information and things like that but you need to acknowledge that you'll have to fill in a form where people helped you so sometimes better that you just do it by yourself okay that's number one you may not submit work that is not your own Okay, very, very important there, guys. Um, this work cannot be done by your mom, your dad, your granny, your grandpa, um, or a previous learner who's done CAT before. This must be done by yourself. Okay. Um, also important, you may not borrow or lend your pet to another learner. Okay, so another learner or learners. Sorry, there's a little bit of a typo there from the department. Um, but... You know, you, you've got a friend who maybe says, oh, I didn't complete this. Can I just look at your pad? You give them your memory stick and they copy your work. You may not do that. All right. And there it also says access there. Um, allow other learners to access or use your own material. Um, this does not mean that you may not lend or borrow books, though, girls. Okay. You know, books are a little bit more difficult to get hold of. And especially if it's in a public library, obviously that information will be shared. But um, your own typing, your own summaries and things like that, you may not um, give that to somebody else, okay? Very important then, um, work that is copied from books and things like that, you need to acknowledge it. And I'm sure now in grade 11, you're well aware of those things um, and they happen in the bibliography. We cannot steal information. You need to um, acknowledge the authors and the people who have done their research in the specific topic. Okay, um, submit work typed or word processed by another person, and that's exactly what I was saying here at the top. All right, um, we've had instances where um, parents try and help, which is good, don't mind that, but again, you need to acknowledge, but they may not be using or typing the document for you. Okay. The above actions constituted dishonesty and you will be penalized. Very, very important with that, guys. Okay, so understand the rules when it comes to the PAT. Right, then we're looking at non-compliance. Okay, guys, should you fail to fulfill any practical assessment task requirements, you'll be awarded zero. The outstanding PAT or part of the entire PAT. Okay, so guys, it's very important. You cannot do phase one, skip phase two, and then do phase three. You have to do all the phases, and we do not want to give you this. Um, really, guys, we don't want to give you a zero for anything. This is really cool. The pets are nice. It allows you to show your skills, so we don't want any non-compliance. Right. Then, finalization of the pet. Your teacher will provide you with dates and deadlines for each phase. Um, it will be in your best interest to keep to those dates and cut-off dates. Guys, I've had this so many times. The learners just don't want to or don't complete it on time. Um, there's always issues. No, no more of that. Your dates and deadlines are set um, because we've got dates and deadlines that we've got to submit the pets. And we cannot tell the department, listen, yeah, Mbunani didn't feel like completing it. Um, no, no, no. Um, you need to stick with those dates. Right, then, very important. The pet counts for 25% of your final cat mark. So, guys, that's a lot of marks, if you think about it. Right, at the end of the year, 
when you are done, you're going to submit your pet. We look at your final mark and then they decide how much you got for your pet um, because it was marked and then we add that to your pet. So there is really no excuse, guys, for you not getting this 25%. Um, it boosts your mark and it allows you to do really well. So very, very important. Then the pet is compulsory. Okay, you cannot decide I'm not going to do it. All right, good. You, you cannot do that. And then all three phases are due just before the final examination. All how many? All three. Okay, so please, girls, you cannot decide on your own dates and times. This is very important. So when the teacher says, I want it in, they want it in on that time. Okay, are you guys happy with that, ladies? And that is the section on compliance dishonesty and finalization of the pet see you in the next video guys this is getting exciting we're going to look at the topic soon